Okay, I forgot to finish the last question. So all I did was part A. I, I sketched the curve. Okay, but the rest is pretty simple. So part B, 68% of the students scored between what and what? And so they 68%, according to the 68, 95, 90.7 rule, 68% of the students scored between 80 and 120. So there we go, 80, 120. Okay, it's part C. 95% of the students scored between what and what? You can probably guess. They scored within two standard deviations of the mean, so that would be 60 and 140. 60 and 140. All right, and then part D, 99.7% of the students scored between what and what, so that would be 40 and 160. All right, so that concludes uh, the the uh, the example of the normal curve. Now, next, I'd like to do an example from the textbook, uh, uh, chapter three, question number six. And here is the uh, here's the question right here. Um, fruit flies. This is on page seventy nine of your textbook. It says the length the length of the thorax in a population of male fruit flies is approximately normal. There, there is that phrase again, approximately normal, meaning we can use all those nifty rules of the normal curve with a mean of 0.800 mil millimeters and a standard deviation of 0.78 mil millimeters. Use the 68959.7 rule to answer the following questions. A, what range what range of lengths covers almost all, 99.7% of the distribution? So we know we have to go up and down three standard deviations to answer that question. We'll do that in just a minute. And then part B, what percent of male fruit flies have a thorax length exceeding 0.878 millimeters? And here we have over here a nice picture of our friend, the fruit fly. All right, let's, let's start with making a sketch. Um, pretty much every every question related to the normal curve uh, is the first thing you have to do, whether it tells you to or not, is to make a sketch. And so here's our our normal curve. The mean is 0 0.800 millimeters. That's the the mean length of a of a thorax, and the standard deviation is point uh, zero seven eight millimeters okay so here here's our here's our normal curve so put point eight oh oh right in the middle and then let's go up three standard deviations go down three standard deviations and then we will have the ninety nine point seven percent of all the fruit flies so point eight zero zero plus 0.078, that is 0.878. And if you need to, you can write sideways a little bit. All right, so we know that uh, that's one standard deviation above the mean. Add another 0.078 to get two standard deviations above the mean. That would be 16, carry the one, 15, okay, 0.956. That's two standard deviations above the mean. And then let's go one more standard deviation above the mean. That's another 0.078. That's 14, carry the 1. 13, carry the 1. 1 1.034. Oh, we have some fruit flies that get a, a beyond 1 millimeter. Those are big fruit flies. All right. So there we have the above average fruit flies up there. Now, what about the below average? fruit flies. Let's let's erase these the arithmetic here. Let's make our eraser a little bit bigger. Actually there's a faster way to do this. Just select the whole thing. Press delete. Okay. Now uh, 0 0.800 minus 0 0.078 and that is 2 to 7, 
Okay, anyway, I paused the video for a moment to just finish up all the calculations. And so 0.7, so 0 0.800 minus one standard deviation is 0.722 minus another standard deviation is 0.644. That's a six right there. It's a sloppy six. And then minus another standard deviation is 0.566. So the answer to part A was 99.7% of the fruit flies have thorax lengths between what and what. So that would be between 0.566 millimeters and 1.034 millimeters. Roughly every fruit fly is between about half a millimeter to about a millimeter. Okay, part B. The question for part B, what percent of male fruit flies have a thorax length exceeding 0.878? Here we go, 0.878 millimeters. So let's go to our sketch, and here's how the sketch really comes in handy, is, is we can find the 0.878 right there. And that is one, if you, if you look at the sketch, this is the mean right there. The 0.78 is one standard deviation above the mean. Now, there's quite a few questions like this in, in the homework what, where it asks you what percentage are beyond a certain amount or what percentage is below a certain amount and, and so forth. Um, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to these. You just have to use the properties of normal curves to try to figure out the, the solution. Keep in mind, the whole normal curve adds up to 1. Keep in mind it's symmetric. One side equals the other side. And keep in mind the 68, 95, 99.7 rule. So I just shaded in this region, which represents the, the fruit flies that exceed 0.878 millimeters. The question again is, what percentage is that that's represented by the shaded part? So there's a couple ways to do this. Think of it more like a geometry problem. Think of it like what is the area of this little section right here. All right, let's use a 68, 95, 90.7 rule to our advantage. So 68% of the data of the fruit flies in this case are within one standard deviation of the mean. So if you think about it logically, the whole thing has to add up to 1. And so you could go 1 minus or 100% minus 68% if you want to think of it in terms of percentages, but I'll think of it in terms of decimals. 68% is the same as 0.68, so 1 minus 0.68 is 0 0.32. Or in other words, if, if you want percentages, 100% minus 68% equals 32%. So 32% of our fruit flies are either above one standard deviation above the mean or down here below one standard deviation below the mean. Now also we know the normal curve is symmetric. So that means that this area down here is equal to this area up here. In other words, the area that's below one standard deviation is the same as the area above one standard deviation. So I can take this 32%, divide by 2, and that gives me 16% which means 16% uh, of the fruit flies are here. Another 16% of the fruit flies are down here. But the answer to our question is 16% because the question was what percentage of the fruit flies exceed 0.878 millimeters. So there's, there's our answer right there.